Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis aren't the only Hollywood celebrities that wrote letters of support for Danny Masterson. In fact, the parents from that 70s show, along with Giovanni Ribisi, Billy Baldwin, and others wrote letters of support as well. It seems the only Hollywood celebrity that stepped out against all of them is Christina Ricci, which made me wonder, who's in the right here? Could we be wrong? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. This idea of should friends be loyal to the end to defend their other friends, I thought, what better way to have this debate than with my friend, Steph the Alternate. Welcome back, Steph. How you doing? I'm not doing too bad on yourself. Doing well, but this is something that I know a lot of the audience has been wrestling with. I have as well. And I've been through something similar to this, Steph. And obviously, you've had to defend me as well. But back in the day, during my whole Screen Junkies uh, cancellation, etc., I remember what it was like when my friends didn't stick up for me. You know what I mean, Steph? Mm. That was something that was very uh, troubling for me. It stuck with me. And I do think that Ashton, Meal, and some of these people should be complimented for sticking by their friend. However, once a conviction was made, things sort of take a different turn. I want to read what Christina Ricci, has, Christina Ricci has said here in response to all these people out there sort of trying to justify this. Christina Ricci says, so sometimes people we have loved and admired do horrible things. They might not do these things to us, and we only know who they were to us, but that doesn't mean they didn't do the horrible things, and to discredit the abused is a crime. People we know as awesome guys can be predators and abusers. It's tough to accept, but we have to. If we say we support victims, women, children, men, boys, then we must be able to take this stance. Unfortunately, I've known a lot of awesome guys who were lovely to me, who have been proven to be abusers privately. I've also had personal experience with this. Believe victims. It's not easy to come forward. It's not easy to get a conviction. She's spot on, especially with that last part. And because of that last part, I got to agree with her here. Because look, if these people, Ashton, Mila, everybody, were defending Danny through the trial, and then even after the trial, were like, our friend is innocent, I would have a lot more respect for them. The fact that Ashton and Mila are defending their friend in these letters and then forced out this fake half-assed apology is what has made me very angry with them. Because if you really believe your friend is innocent, well, then I want to hear you scream it from the rooftops. Stand by your convictions. If your friend is really in the wrong here, then explain to us why. And what I see is a lot of people just saying stuff. Oh, but he was a good guy. He was so good to his daughter. He never did drugs. I never saw him do anything bad. Sadly, Christine is right. There can be a lot of people who pretend and then behind the scenes are monsters. And I'm not saying we should just believe every accusation that comes forward. We do have to be careful. But in this instance, as Christina also eloquently says, convictions are not easy. At a certain point, we got to say, well, he had two trials to get through this. And at the end of the day, he lost. He lost big. And the jurors, the, the justice was served. We got at some point think, OK, well, maybe we're in the wrong. So Ashton and Mila and all these people who are now writing letters afterwards, knowing what the verdict was, I think it's 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 wrong of them to support their friend like this without being adamant and their their de declaration of either his innocence or accepting the accountability that maybe we don't know our friend. Now we're going to acknowledge and address because the courts have said this. Maybe we didn't know our friend as much as we thought we did. And that hurts us. It's hard for us to ra you know, grapple with. And that's why we're struggling here. But for the sake of our friendship as daughter, I, I do hope there's some leniency. I see none of that in any of the letters, Steph. All these letters from the parents, from Billy Baldwin, from Giovanni Ribisi, just talk about, yes, we know it's a very hard crime, but that's not the person I know. He has kids, da 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 da, da. And you read these, and it's just a lot of people in either denial or not really saying this is a travesty. Do you know what I mean, Steph? And I, I want to come to you because you are my friend. You've had to defend me. And you only defend me when you know the truth. Uh, but I would, I would, I'm telling you here on the record, if I am convicted, Steph, I would give you permission to not have to keep defending me at that point. Please don't. In fact, if you ever know I do something wrong that needs to be, a, that's a crime and illegal, by all means, you got to call me out, right? That's what we got to do. You can still support a friend by helping them get the help they need or have them do their sentence. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. if I didn't do the crime and you really believe me, well, then say 
He didn't do this. You know what I mean? Do you do you see what I'm saying and why these letters and what Ashton and Mila are doing feels half-assed and almost in a way more disrespectful to not only the victims but to Danny as well. What is your stance, you two? I don't get it. What are your thoughts on this? Am I crazy? See, they can't have it both ways. They can't say Danny Masterson's a good guy, he's a father, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 uh, knowing that he's being convicted as a monster and then turn around the next day and say, we support victims. You can't have it both ways. You can't have your cake and eat it. Now, the reason why I've been so steadfast in defending Andy so publicly is because he's got the receipts, he's got the evidence to prove that he isn't the monster that they all painted him out to be back in the screen junkies' days. And I will continue to defend Andy until my dying breath. He is right, though. If he does do wrong, then I will go fly over to Florida because I know where he lives, <laughs> kick his backside and then call the freaking police on him well, uh, and, let's be clear, and, and, like... and get him done on that. Like, let's let's be, make no mistake. I'm not blinded uh, with our friendship here. But this whole situation of trying to justify or trying to, it's like they're trying to re- kind of like defend him and repair his image at yes. the same time. And it's like, you can't defend. There's nothing to repair at this point. It's done. It's over. He's been convicted as a monster. You can't defend that. And you can't turn around and say, oh, well, he's a good guy and he's got kids, this, that, and the other. That doesn't matter. A monster's a monster at the end of the day. I mean, let's not get too religious and political, but priests, Catholic priests. Oh, well, they believe in God and they worship God and they speak the word of God, this, that, and the other. Yeah, but he didn't stop them being monsters for some of them. Teachers, doctors, right? People in authority. Oh, well, the good people, this, that, and the other. That don't matter. It don't stop them being a monster. And it's something that they didn't address. They didn't, I would have had better respect for them if they turned around and they said, right, we know he's being convicted of this, okay? Justice has been served, fair enough. However, from what we know of him, there's this, 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 and we're going to come to defend him because of X, Y, and Z and showing their own receipts. If they did that, then would I be upset a little bit? Because, I mean, he's been convicted and I've got my own biases with that, I'll admit but I'd have more respect for them than them just turning around and saying, well, he's a good guy and he's a father, blah, blah, blah. And then in the next breath, kind of backtracking and being like, oh, well, we believe all victims as well. Freaking jokes, the both of them. And I was going to say earlier, like, look, uh, uh, people make mistakes, people screw up and friends are there to have their back and not go bash them. When it's a crime, when the person's been convicted of said crime, at that point, the game changes. This isn't defending a friend. This isn't loyalty. This isn't breaking privacy, right? At this point, you got to take a side. You either now realize, well, crap, this is it. And then you got to own up and you got to take accountability for your friend and say that you're going to make sure your friend takes accountability, right? You got to do the things that are right. And in these letters, I just don't see any of that. And what's frustrating to me is, and the reason I think this is blowing up, because typically I wouldn't want to be here going through the wormhole of trying to, well, but Ashton, you said this, this, and this, because this to me isn't cancel culture. This is a cover up. This really does feel like a cover up in a way of Ashton trying to cover up his past. Because I'm sorry, Steph, do people not remember the bad boys that these three were? Like Danny Masterson says, oh, well, I don't surround myself with these people. Like Vil- 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 Viller, Weldorama, whatever in his history, I don't know the guy, but it sure seems like these three had some dramas and we're going to get into that. In fact, if you guys have any tips or insight on that whole history of them, please let me know because as I'm doing my own research, the more I look into this, they're just hypocrites. If they hadn't come out, Steph, and been like, my friend never does drugs and da-da-da, all this stuff, and and then try to put out this fake apology as if we believe victims. No, you don't. And honestly, I'd respect you more, Ashton and Mila, if this video had been like, he's innocent. You all don't understand. You're wrong. I'm, I don't accept this verdict. Our friend was wronged, and we are going to stand by him still. But no, that's not what you did. You basically said in a letter... <laughs> 
which you're allowed to do. And if you had said nothing else after and didn't release this video, I probably would. This probably wouldn't have been as big of an explosion. I think PR explosion for them. If the, do you agree, Steph? If just the letters had come out and they just stayed silent, I feel like this might have eventually just fallen over. But this mm -hmm. video torpedoed it in a way where it's like, well, then what are you apologizing for? Do you believe yeah. your friend or not? And to me, that's what's so frustrating. What I want to rant about, like. They're basically admitting and apologizing for defending their friend. So therefore, even these two who are defending their friend admit he's guilty. And to me, they're doing it because they're being forced to. There is some sort of weird cover up, it seems, or something. I, I, I Steph, I hear a lot of gossip, and I'm, I'm prepping another report. If you guys haven't already, hit that um, subscribe button, hit the bell for alerts. Make sure you stay tuned because we are going to lean into this a little bit more. So smash the like button. Uh, it's not really gossip. I mean, these are sources I trust, Steph, that are telling me things about Ashton and his past. Because of this letter, because of the hypocrisy in this video, they're fed up. But I've also heard a lot of people don't want to come forward because of how well-connected Ashton is through his hedge funds and all these big charity organizations and things. There's a lot of powerful people out there that are attempting to try to put this under the rug and like, okay, well, we lost Danny, but we're not going to lose them too. Something seems off here. Steph, do you do you do you smell that too? Does it feel like there's some sort of corruption or cover up out there in Hollywood of people trying to justify this now convicted R wordist? Uh, does are you seeing that too? Yeah, because usually, you know, when uh, Hollywood people are convicted, you see a lot of people that come out and they, you know, quite rightly, as far as I'm concerned, celebrate. It's like another win for the Me Too, right? Another win for Times Up. This, that, and the other, right? Um, it happened with, uh, and I'll abbreviate the names, Cosby, it happened with Harv, um, Hefe, another one, um, Maxipad, another one, right? So all these high-profile big Hollywood names, right, have been done for certain crimes, and they all celebrate, and they all come out, and they're like, yeah, we believe victims, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 fine. But this Danny Masterson one, it's crickets nigh on crickets and that actually troubles me because it's like well hang on a minute why what is your silence covering that's the bit that scares me what are they covering because what all what's already been uncovered with this guilty verdict is horrific enough but with this silence, it feels like they're covering something else that, you know, it's like, well, how more horrific can this thing get? It's quite scary. It's just weird. And again, to me, the video is really where this blew up in my mind because I, I wouldn't have had as much of a problem with them defending their friend. These were letters to the judge to try to reduce the sentence for his sake of his daughter. Right or wrong, loyalty is rare in Hollywood. And I could have maybe gotten come to accept that if they had just never said anything about it since, or I ideally would have eventually said, listen, we respect the courts. This was just hard for us to do for Danny's family. They asked us, we wanted to help them. Uh, and that's all, all we've done at this point. It wasn't supposed to be public, yada, yada. But we, we, we believe if they, you know, come in genuinely, I think this would have been nothing, but this weird half-assed apology and anger and frustration to me just shows they're not really telling you the truth. They're not being genuine. They clearly don't believe these victims. And if that's the case, well, then tell us why. It's not even like, here's stuff I'm trying to say. We we have to believe them. If they know something that we don't, right, why wouldn't they come forward and make that clear? If they believe Danny was wrongfully convicted, if they believe that he should be appealing, if he, they believe that there's proof that there's lying, whatever, then say it. Be the supporting, loyal friend that you are at this point. But it doesn't seem like that's what happened here. It seems like they were forced to apologize. They've now done it. And now skeletons are coming out of these two's closets. And traditionally, I don't like to, to bury and do that, but I, I don't like hypocrisy stuff. <laughs> I don't like the hypocrisy. And I don't like Hollywood cover-ups of stuff this serious. Crimes like this. And because the association with Scientology, are they actually Scientologists? We didn't realize this. They seem embedded in Scientology as well. There's a lot more to uncover here. So we are going to do that. But I want to get your thoughts. What do you think? Are you frustrated that they stuck up for their friend at all? Or are you more frustrated that they're not now leaning in and saying our friend's innocent? What is your take? I want to hear it down below. And again, Steph, thank you for all your support of me. If I'm convicted of something, you uh, please better uh, be out there defending me because you know the truth, right? Right. Or at, that, at some point being like, yeah, no, this is awful. 
uh, and uh, this isn't okay. I don't know why they can't say that. You know what I mean, Steph? It blows my mind. Mm. At this point, you got to either say, do you believe it or not? Uh, up until then, if you want to support and be loyal to your friend through the trial and you don't know, sure. But it, once the verdict is in, am I crazy, Steph? At that point, for your own safety and your own uh, celebrity -dom, you better come clean and be uh, taking some accountability, which these two don't seem to want to do. So what do you think, Steph? Do you think they believe the victims? No. So they're no. hypocrites. They're, what, is, yeah. what is this? Yeah, exactly. And then they're not being friends to Danny. They're actually not being loyal, which everyone's trying to give them credit for. And that's my problem. Come forward and defend your friend and be loyal until the end and say, this is why. Or shut up. <laughs> there yeah, it is. Make sure you support that. Steph. Yeah, final thoughts, Steph? No, oh, just as simple as that. There it is, simple as that, but is it as simple as that? Tell us in the comments below. If you haven't already uh, subscribed, hit that bell for alerts, smash that button, and tell us down below what your thoughts are. We got more coming in. In, fa in fact, an investigation into the bad boy past, which people seem to want to just pretend didn't happen. But guys, there were photos and <laughs> lots of articles. We're going to break that down and so much more, so stay tuned here on Popcorn Planet. Who do you believe? What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below. And subscribe to Steph the Alternate as well.